Now go on. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Joey Costin. If it's the first time over here, what we do over this channel is to analyze the financial market, like chop chop it up in a pieces, so each and everyone can understand. Parallel channel is a nice like, trading view tool that I use to identify the trend, know where price might retrace to, as well as use it to get possible take profits. Let's dive straight into it. All right, parallel channel. This is really effective, guys. Trust me. I'm going to show you where to find it, right? So, bam, under the cursor bar right here. Let me move this a bit. Under the cursor bar right here. Yeah. You're going to have like the lines. You have the trend lines, arrow, raise, info line, and so on, right? So, right here you have the parallel channel yeah so the parallel channel is used to draw channels <laughs> you get me so what i do is i just put it on my favorite bar so it's on the favorite bar right here so i'm just showing you where to find it so going forward i'm just going to take it from the favorite bar all right so let's get into it bam so there are two ways to draw the parallel channel you could draw it for a downtrend. So let's put it to a downtrend first, right? So let me do something like this. A replay. Bam, well, cut here. Gonna show you how cool this works, yeah? So bam, when you're drawing for the downtrend, you're gonna put it on the top. When you're drawing for the downtrend, you're gonna put it on the top like this. Bam like here all right so in trading right we all know about support and resistance but what a lot of people fail to recognize that there are two types of support and resistance right so they are horizontal support and resistance and they are also diagonal support and resistance and this is diagonal support and resistance both of them work together and you have to understand how they work together right so let's speak about the one that you might know which is the horizontal support and resistance so we could let me just make it easy we could put like horizontal line here we'll put one there you also could put one here. Yeah. So this is the, the simple support and resistance horizontally that you know, which is right. Break here, retest here, continue down, respect this resistance right here. Here was support. Break that support, come back, respect as resistance right here. Then you're looking to sell to continue down. Then you're looking to come back right here for it to hit resistance for you to continue down. So this was previous support broke. And then you're looking for it to continue back up as resistance, some form of rejection to continue down. Right? So that you may know. So, but what many people don't know is that you also have this diagonal support and resistance, right? So, up here is resistance. Right here. So, this top line is resistance. And this bottom line right here that's trending down is support All right so top line right here will be resistance and this bottom line here will be support so this support and resistance is moving diagonal yeah so it's it works like this price hit the resistance right here comes down to support down to support back up to resistance so it's trending down to support, 
back up to resistance down to support right here at this level right here so it's at support right here so what do you expect to happen for it to come back up to resistance right here and to continue down in the channel like that right so in a downtrend you have a series of lower highs and lower lows right it moves in a channel when it's trending so when price is trending it moves in a channel so the fact that i know that it has its support on the channel yeah i know that it's time for a possible retracement so i'm gonna look to play, play price come to here then back to here so i could play the retracement so bam if i do something like this right like serious gems guys this is like serious serious gems right now right serious serious gems is that 285 pip move right there let me use the info line so you guys can understand from here to here that's roughly 290 pips yeah and then from here from resistance down to the next support that's 480 pips roughly you follow me so this is like crazy gem right so what i'm gonna do is to remove the horizontal support and resistance being that we're we're speaking on the, the the channel our focus is on that today all right so let's replay and see what happens all right play out let's just see how it plays out test my theory so price retrace back to the resistance level yeah pass through it a bit so here was not respected ain't nothing wrong with that so i'm just doing this live so right away you could have caught this right here come back to this level right here all right so let's say continue to play out all right so price came to the support went back to resistance where you could have got your tp i'm happy now this happened right so if something like this happened where it moved outside of the channel all you're going to do is just to adjust your channel a little bit wider right for the next move simple as that <laughs> right so it's as simple as that so you adjust your channel right you're looking for support here then to probably go back up here for resistance again doing the same thing all over again right so that's an example of the downward trend now let's move to the upward trend right so let me clear my chart stop this play Wow. so for the upward movement if for the downward you place the, the the channel on the top right then for the upward you're gonna place it the opposite right <laughs> so you're gonna do something like this boom yeah so when i was on the live the other day all right that is what i was saying to you guys yeah you have to now be careful at this era you can't just look to continue to to buy right here price can do whatever it wants to do 
But we are speaking in terms of technical analysis. That's why you see every push from the sellers right here, right? And if it's supposed to come across horizontally, yeah, you're going to realize that this is a strong era of resistance, right? It's also picking up in the channel, right? Where the channel is showing you that it's at resistance in the channel. So there's a strong possibility that price may retrace back to this level right here and support on the, the, the diagonal channel before it goes up back to resistance there, right? Strong possibility. And right here on the diagonal channel is also a strong level of support which was previous resistant, which has been broken, All right? So that's why it looked horizontally. You follow me? So that is what I mean by you have to know how to plot both the horizontal and the diagonal together. You understand? Don't just look at, at one and don't look at the other. So I always look at both of them at the same time. And I normally use the channel to help the guide me. So once, once I have that guide, and I'll be like, it's a possibility that it might come back to here once I have that guide like that. And what I'm gonna do, I just remove this, remove this, and then start dropping time frame, something like that, to see what's going on, to see if I'm seeing some form of bearish confirmation, right? So I'm gonna go down to the lower time frame and so on now to look for bearish confirmation such as lower highs and lower lows to see if I could get a sell come back to this level that I have marked off of the higher time frame using the diagonal as well as the horizontal support and resistance right so as simple as that yeah Hope you learn a lot from this one, guys. As I said, this is really gem pop. Yeah. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new. You understand? I drop a, a lot of gems, right? You can check out the playlist at the end, right? It's, and dive straight into the playlist, right? I give a lot of information and ensure to join me on the lives on the weekends. Turn on your post notification. It's just going to be a lot of banger coming, guys. Comment any questions, and I'm always there to answer. Right? Big up on yourself. Straight balling, no stalling. Thank you guys for watching. And if there's anything on Trading View that you'd like to see me cover, please comment below, and I'll try my very best to assist you. Go on, big up on yourself, and enjoy the rest of the day. I'm out.